So now in this video, we'll see how to set a name thread thread and we'll talk about the priorities of the thread. So we'll start with the name first. So what I will do now is before before doing all this any stuff, if, before even starting the thread, what we can do is let's print the name of the thread. So do we have a name for the thread? Let's try that. Let me print t one dot get name. So you can see we have a name for the thread. And if I try to run this code, you can see it is printing the thread zero. Let's try to do that with the second thread here. We'll say copy paste and let's make it as t two. And if you run this code, of course it will print thread 1 right so by default when you create the first thread the name will be thread 0 the second thread will be thread 1 now uh, once you got these two threads let's uh, okay can we change the thread name because I don't like this thread name so there are multiple ways you can do this one is you can can you say set name yes we can do that we can say this is hi thread uh, simple simply say hi and then we'll say t2 dot set name we'll say this is hello so we can also set the thread name you can see uh, of course it will let's say this is hi thread itself and this is hello thread and if I run this code you can see it is printing hi thread and hello thread that means you can also set the name for the thread now why it is important is because let's say you're working on an application where you have multiple threads and you don't know which thread is doing what uh, because sometimes it is very difficult to manage threads, right? So it's always better to name to give a name to a thread so that you can use it later. Okay, so this is how you can set the name. There's another way is when you create the object of thread, it will ask you for it will ask you for two parameters. Uh, the first one is which one you will be using now? This one. So if you can see this constructor here. It is asking you for the object of runnable and it is also asking for the name. Again, you can also you can only pass the runnable object or you can only pass the name, but you can pass both. You can pass the runnable object and you can also pass the name. So what we can do here is if you look at this code, this is the object of runnable, right? And if you give a comma, and here you can also mention the name here of the thread. We can say this is high thread. Now same thing can be done here. We can say this is hello thread. I mean, we can also do that. If you're on this code, you can see we got high thread and hello thread. So that's how you can give the name for the thread. Now what next? Can we can we uh, get the priorities? So let me remove this uh, name thing. We have done with name. We, uh, I hope you got the concept of name here. Let me remove that. Let me just make this code more simple. And let's talk about the thread priority now. Now by default, whenever you create any thread, it will have the default priority. Let's try to fetch the default priority first. We'll simply print the priority of the thread. We'll simply say this is t one dot get priority. It will give you the current priority. We'll do it for both. For t two dot get priority. So if we got priority for both the both the objects, so you can see. For both the objects we got 5 so the priority for thread 1 is 5 the priority for thread 2 is also 5 so by default they both have the same priority which is 5 so what's the range of priority so the range of priority goes from 1 to 10 so 1 means least priority and 10 means highest priority and 5 is normal priority okay so now can I change this priority yes we can do that we can say t1 dot set priority and we can say this is 1 and here we can say t2 dot set priority and we can say this is 10 so we are changing the priority of both the things so we are setting t1 1 and we are setting t2 as 10 and if you run this code now you can see we got 1 and 10 so what is the least priority and 10 is the highest priority now sometimes it is difficult to remember numbers right because it is not that readable it is a bit confusing that let's say after five years or two years you're saying this okay we have set the priority one but what is one is it least of is least or highest difficult to remember right so that's why we can also use some we can also use some constant so we can say thread dot uh, mean priority so it means that it will give you one and we can say this is thread dot max priority so this these are the inbuilt constants available in threads so if I go to max priority inside thread class you can say the value of max priority is 10 the minimum priority is 1 you can set the normal priority which is 5 
So even if you don't set the priority, it will give you five. Okay, so yeah, that's how you are doing this. Let, so that's how you set the priority. And if I run this code, of course, it will give you one and 10. Okay, so let's say I want to know the priority in the thread itself. So after printing high, I want to print the thread priority. So what we can do is we can say, uh, can we use which method to use? We can use this method, which is current thread. So we can say this is thread dot current uh, thread dot. Can I use current thread here? Okay, let me do that. Current thread. Is it possible? Yes. So you can see it says current thread dot get name or not name, but we can also also print the priority. So it will print it will print the priority of that current thread. So you can see it, it is printing hello high one, high one, high one because the priority of that thread is one. So if you want to refer to the current thread in the same thread itself, so inside the thread, if you want to refer the thread, we need to say current thread. Current thread will refer to the current thread. Okay. So that's about the name and the priority in threads.